Hey, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to all my cloud scholars out there. Uh, my name is Kieran Tross. I want to thank you all for clicking on this video. In today's video, what I want to talk to you about is using the conditional access policies gap anal and analyzer workbook. Um, so uh, the workbooks are really essential within uh, Microsoft um, Azure. You could do a lot of different things with workbooks in order for you to be able to see what's going on within your environment. The workbook that we're going to look into is one that's just straight, you know, out of the box workbook. You don't have to do your own uh, custom query language queries. Uh, you don't have to write them yourself. Uh, you could just start using the workbook. So it's really great. And the conditional access gap analyzer workbook. When I found out about this one, I said, wow, this is great because it definitely helps increase your security posture um, and also helps you enforce a zero trust um, posture within your organization so that this way you can fight against any bad actors. So um, one of the first things that we want to do uh, when we're setting up this uh, conditional access gap analyzer, we need to make sure that we are getting our information, our sign in data, anything where it is related to our Microsoft Entra ID, which was used to be Azure Active Directory. We need to get those logs sent to a log Alex workspace. So well, the first thing we want to do is you want to go into your entra.microsoft.com. And then when you're in here, you want to go to identity and then you want to come down from identity and you want to click on uh, down here, you want to do monitor and health and you want to go to diagnostic settings. So within your diagnostic settings, you can see here that I have an Azure Sentinel workspace, but essentially what you need to do is you need to say, I add diagnostic settings, you create whatever name you want to call it. So let's just say if I wanted to say test diagnostic, and what you're going to do is you're going to send these logs, right? So it could, it could be just the audit logs, sign in logs, or you can send all these logs and then you want to send it to a log analytics workspace in your environment. And then once you're done doing that, you want to give it a little time um, so that this way it can capture that information. Then what you're going to do after you're done doing that is you're going to come back here. You're going to go to um, identity and then you're going to go here to monitor and health. And then once you're in monitor and health, you're going to click on workbooks. So in this workbooks gallery window, you'll see, you see a lot of different things. You can come up here, you can click new, you can start clicking and going through and creating your own new workbook. If you wanted to go ahead and do that, I'm going to go back one, come back over here, workbooks. Um, you can see for whatever subscription you want to do it for your resource groups or other stuff. But the one that we really want to focus on, you'll see here is, is right under conditional access. You'll see that they have one and it's called conditional access gap analyzer. So what this does is it lets you know about four main things that you need to uh, pay attention to within your organization. So one of the things you want to look at first is you have this time range option here. So you have different time ranges that you can have it look into specific areas. So you can say 15 minutes, last 30 minutes, the last seven days, or you can do custom. Now, what you're going to do is you, it breaks it down into um, a bunch of different parts. So right here you have legacy authentication, right? So you can see exactly, you know, Microsoft recommends block and sign ins using legacy authentication. Now I have videos talking about how you can set up conditional access policies. So that this way, legacy authentication is blocked. And right here, it gives you a, here, a click here to learn more about legacy authentication. It's going to bring you to a Microsoft documentation and it's showing you user signing using legacy versus modern authentication. Now this is a lab environment, so I'm not going to have a lot of data going into it. It's just me signing in and then a couple, you know, test accounts that I use. But right now you see right now it's telling us modern authentication one. So it says users uh, using legacy authentication by application, and then it says no application allowing legacy authentication sign-ins. So it's letting us know what users are using signing, uh, using legacy authentication or modern authentication. If I continue through this, I can go to another section, which is unprotected applications and it says number of users signed into your application with conditional access policies not applied. And it's just letting you know, Hey, these applications you can get into with single factor authentication, just user name and password, and there's no conditional access associated with it. Every application you want to make sure you're doing your um, authentication with MFA, a multi-factor authentication. But if you're really doing zero trust, you need to be able to do that effectively. So this is saying the query return no results because I don't really have any applications in this uh, lab. So then we have compromised user sign-ins, same thing. And if you're, you're pretty much filtering out this time range and then you're going through each one. So that this way you can see what kind of information comes back. The next one we're going to go to is unprotected locations. 
which is users with no conditional access coverage by location. And I apologize. We're not really getting a lot of information showing up here. And that's only because this is a lab, but this is still very important because within your environment at work or whatever organization you're at, you'll see a lot more information coming up here on your end. And this is the last one here, which this is in preview mode, which is name locations with no conditional access coverage. So with name locations, you can, what I like to do with name locations is I'll create something for name locations. And what I'll do is I'll check off, you know, which locations uh, people should or shouldn't have access to. And that's really how I set those up. So this last one right here is, you know, just kind of showing you what conditional access uh, gap analyzer can do. And it's, it's, you know, really five main parts, right? So legacy authentication, how is that looking in your environment? Unprotected applications, how is that looking in your environment? Compromised user sign-ins, unprotected locations, and unprotected name locations. And that's pretty much how you would set up and use the uh, conditional access gap analyzer. It's really simple and really straightforward. Hopefully you're getting more information than what I'm seeing because I am in a lab environment. But if I were to look at and I utilize this within one of my customers' environments, I would be able to see a lot of information in, in, in a, another organization. And this is really great because now you can now say, okay, what's our game plan? What are we gonna be doing moving forward? How do we now set up our conditional access policies? And you can see exactly what gaps you have, hence the name conditional access gap analyzer, so you can see what gaps you have in your organization and what you need to do to tighten up to make sure your environment is secure and you don't have a data breach. So this was a quick and simple video for a conditional access gap analyzer. I hope the information I provided you was beneficial. Uh, once again, my name is Kieran Tross and please, if you haven't done so already, please smash that like and subscribe button. And if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. I'd love to answer any of your questions or something else that you're looking to learn within Microsoft Ent Entra or Azure, I should say. Um, doesn't really matter. Just send it over, shoot it over. Uh, Cause we want to build a community here. So this way we can help each other out. So once again, my name is Kieran Tross and my goal here at Cloud Scholars is to get you from scholar to consultant and of course, consultant to expert. Thank you and see you next time.